take a chill pill hey guys what's good what's popping welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great so i know it's a different background today this is actually my chill place in my room like this is where i sit and edit and like eat my chips chill you know what i mean so i thought okay fine let's explore my room and like change the background and film here today so yeah in today's video i'll be showing you the first impressions of my aliexpress haul if you haven't watched my aliexpress haul yet i'll have it linked in the description box so you guys can go and check it out also can we like appreciate the nails yeah so i had to do it for this video so it's been so long since i put on the stick on nails it's kind of weird i'll have to like get used to these nails again so yeah without any further ado let's get into the video now okay so i already have my base on and i did some contouring and my brows so let's get started with the eye makeup so for my eyeshadow palettes i have two of them right here uh, one is the turkey palette and one is the paris palette both are from focalior let's see what we can do and use uh, i don't know what's my vibe today let's see okay so this is how both of the palettes look side by side i don't know i might use both of the palettes but let's see first let me use the paris eyeshadow palette also for the eyeshadow brushes we'll be using these brushes today which i showed you in the haul so as my first brush i'll be taking this 04 oh sorry 07 eye brush so it looks something like this i'll be picking up this shade and i'll be applying it on my crease above my crease so i'm just trying to pack the shade and trying to blend it so make sure to apply your transition shades above your crease so my crease ends here so i'm trying to apply my transition shade above my crease so i feel like this brush is really good to pack on eyeshadow and like blend your transition shades because it fits perfectly into your crease which is a good thing okay using the same brush i'll be going into this shade right here so far so good i'm not mad at anything they're doing a good job so to further blend the eyeshadow i'll be using 04 this looks something like this it's fluffy brushes uh, sorry the bristles are not flimsy at all so to cut my crease i'll be taking this brush this is my favorite brush when it comes to cutting the crease i got this one in a set this is from puna store i think you can find it on amazon i'll try to leave a link down in the description box i'll be using a concealer if you have hooded eyes try to bring your concealer above your crease bring your concealer above your crease so if i look straight this is my crease right so i'm getting the concealer above my crease so you can see we are uh, trying to make a new crease for ourselves this shade this one I feel like that's calling my name <laughs> I'll do this side of my eye and be right back hey guys I'm back so um, we're pretty much done with the cut crease a small tip that I'd like to give you guys is that if you want your cut crease to be prominent I'll be taking this shade because this looks kind of like a transition shade I'll be taking a brush that looks something like this and I'll be going on top just trying to intensify you know transition shade now let's move on to the lashes I'll be using these which I got from Aliexpress I'm 
kind of like everyday sort of lashes i think i can wear them every single day like if i don't want to apply mascara if i want to look a little extra i can apply these lashes they are really good they are very light i've been filming since morning you guys i filmed two videos one for instagram one for youtube and this is my third video for the day on that note please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because you know what the other day i've been seeing my stats of youtube and i see that so many of you guys are watching my videos without subscribing to my channel uh, matlab it just takes 2 seconds to subscribe man like seriously you can do it right now while i'm you know trying to fidget with my lash for my mascara i'll be using the total temptation by maybelline okay now let's let's go hard on these lashes I'll be going in with this and this. So I'll be contouring my nose using this brush. This looks perfect. have uh, the blush palette here this is what it looks like these are all the blushes also a mirror satisfaction let me try the shade called sweet oh this shade looks so pretty and peachy I will definitely recommend you guys to purchase this. It's beautiful. Um I see that so many Instagram pages are selling it for, you know, 1500 rupees. I got this for like 800, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I'll try to like mention it, but yeah, they are just selling it for overpriced, so make sure you guys check it out or order directly from AliExpress. I mean, not now, but after this coronavirus thing just gets a little controlled you guys can order it from aliexpress directly why do you want to spend more money when you can get it for less on aliexpress right okay we have this brush left with which i'll be doing my inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight so i'll be taking the master chrome highlighter so this brush is like perfectly fitting that tear duct area Just try to apply my highlighter. Ryan Little. Uh. <laughs> so this is the final look, you guys. All right, so let me just come a little bit forward so you guys can see. that's it for today's video i really enjoyed using these brushes they performed really well i have no complaints whatsoever i although i didn't use all the brushes but i'm looking forward to use all of the brushes because i really like the way they blend the eye shadow also speaking of eye shadows i really really loved the way these eye shadows blended on my eyes also i didn't see any fallout as well so i don't think uh, that should be a problem and also these are very travel friendly these are very light so if you are also traveling you can just throw them in your luggage and just get going also coming to the lashes i loved these lashes they look so natural and wearable they do not feel heavy on your lids which is a great thing i hate when lashes just you know try to poke your inner corner and like 
um, just make you feel uncomfortable but these are really good uh, in terms of comfort so yeah i think if you are a beginner you can definitely go for this and also coming to the blush i absolutely loved all of the shades uh, look at that if you ask me my first impression on this blush palette it's absolutely amazing if you are a makeup artist you'll obviously need many blushes uh, i think if you purchase this palette you are sorted so that's it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next one